the New Safe Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Well, we continue to monitor a flood advisory that's in effect for a couple of hours. That's from State College to Sealands Grove and down toward the Mason Dixon line. It's all because of that narrow band of showers that moved in during the overnight hours and has been with us all day so far. Here is a live look over a gloomy looking Lancaster. It's 58 degrees with thick cloud cover. Dew point right now at 55. Winds are light out of the southeast at 3. But there is that band of showers that has been with us. The good news is it has started to let up in intensity, but we're going to continue to see these waves of on and off light to moderate rainfall through the mid-afternoon. Right now we're starting to see a heavier band approach the city of York. Sealands Grove and Shemokin, you have seen some steady rainfall now starting to approach your totals closer to an inch, but you can see how the showers continue to back build towards Du Bois and State College, and there is some more energy to the west of that now, ready, now moving through eastern Ohio and back toward Columbus, seeing some light to moderate showers. And notice the cloud deck extends all the way up toward Canada, so no, not much in the way of sunshine through the day today. So here's a look at the News 8 Storm Team forecast. Temperatures staying cool with waves of on and off rain, and there could be an isolated thunderstorm or two with highs only making it into the low to, or mid 60s to near 70 degrees. Overnight tonight, the shower threat will continue. I don't expect as numerous of showers, but will be in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And for tomorrow, some sunshine will peek out through the clouds. We'll have the chance of a few isolated showers, mainly during the morning and early afternoon hours, with highs climbing into the mid 70s. Here's a look at the rainfall totals as a, uh, estimated by our radar. You can see where you see the greens, you're half an inch or upwards, possibly closer to an inch. And at the actual rain gauges, about a half an inch at Harrisburg, Carlisle picking up closer to half an inch, but notice ceilings grow now coming in close to three quarters of an inch. Across the Susquehanna Valley, temperatures are cool. It's 55, 11, and 60 in Harrisburg and 59 in York. So there's that warm front that is just sitting right over the Susquehanna Valley and waves of upper level energy are continuing to move above that. It's not until we head on into later tomorrow evening when the cold front actually starts to swing on through and we start to dry back on out. So here's a look at our predictor models taking us through the afternoon hours. You can see we get a break after sunset. Here we are at 10 o'clock. Temperatures still mild in the low to mid 60s. Heading on to tomorrow morning, temperature is briefly dropping into the upper 50s. And then the cold front actually starts to push across the area. That will come in late on, I'd say, Thursday afternoon. And then by the evening rush hour, the cold front will be starting to push off to our west. Still not ruling out an isolated shower, though, late on Thursday night and also on into Friday. So we'll do a little better every day. We'll be only in the 60s today for the most part. And then as we head on into tomorrow, temperatures back up in the mid 70s. Rain chances go down heading on into Memorial Day weekend. And the temperature starts to warm back up. We'll be closer to 80 degrees as we start early next week.